guys, so I'm back with another haul, a collective haul, mind you. Now, I've got a little bit of everything here. I have in-store and even test store orders, so I'll show you mine in a second, but let me give you some info first. So, info regarding the 70 cents in the Italian collection. They're currently available in three-wick form in Columbus, Ohio at the Easton Town Center, and I know because I placed my order yesterday morning, so they'll be here soon. I just couldn't wait. You know, they said that they were in last week and I'm like I want them they're only four ounce their size and I'm like you know what bite the bullet get them they're only you know seven of them not like it's gonna kill me so I ended up getting those and they will be here tomorrow so depending on what's happening I might end up doing a giveaway so look for that so um and I don't think I'm going to review them. I think I'll wait till I get the three wicks because the Sicilian Orange is one that was not available in four ounce or size. So I think I'm going to just get the full collection and then just review them next week. So I'll have them, but not quite. So that's that. So Easton has them. Go ahead, pick up your phone, call them, go in, get them. Um, I mean, everyone's saying that they're good, so I'm praying and hoping for the best. But, you know, if they sell out, then it is what it is. Now, another test store, which is in Tennessee, Johnson City, Tennessee, of course, they have them, but here's Skinny. They're like, you know what, we have them, but we just can't sell them. The company wants it to be a secret and a surprise. So it's like, well, I don't think so, because everyone knows about it. I don't get what the big deal is. The company said they're not supposed to sell them, so they're not going to be out until Monday. And how convenient. It's like the sale ends on the 27th Sunday, and then the new stuff comes out. It's like, they always do that. Such an inconvenience on our end because it's like, we just bought a ton, then we have to go and exchange them. So if worst comes to worst, just simply take seven candles and exchange them for those. I mean, that's all I can tell you. Now, in Paramus, they're getting them in, and I think they should have them by Friday, but here's the thing. They're not supposed to put them out either. But if you get a rep that's super sweet, super cool, you can say, hey, can you help me? I really want to try these scents out. Um, I don't want to have to, you know, buy them and the, or buy others and swap them out. I just want to get them now and, you know, get on my way. They might be able to go in the back and get them if they're not already out. So if you find a good rep, Stephanie, wink, wink, then check with, you know, one of them. But if not, then, hey, I tried. So they'll have them shortly. Um, other test stores, I haven't paid attention to any other test stores in a while. Um, I don't deal with Missouri anymore. They're just kind of, I don't know, they're really cool. But the last time I ordered, they were really short with me. And they had like kind of a you're calling again type of a feel. So it's like, okay, well, steer clear from them. But you can always give them a call too. Um, yeah, so that's that with the test sense. They'll be out shortly. I'm excited. So far, the reviews are, have been pretty good. From I've talked to people. They're like, espresso bar that smells like chocolatey coffee scent. Not really coffee, but somewhat in that realm of being somewhat similar to coffee. Limoncello is supposed to be very... Sorry. Yeah, that's what it's called. Limoncello is supposed to be very super sweet, lemony. Um, not really a cleaner lemon, but almost. Pizzeria. Um, the people I've talked to, they said that they can't really stomach it. It's too realistic. Um, it's doughy, so I'm like, oh boy, here we go. Um, Tuscan Herbs is very basil-like, so I'm really excited about that one. What else? Um, gelato is super, super sugar, creamy sweet. Sicilian Orange smells like a real orange, supposedly. And I'm missing Bellini Cafe they didn't really care for. And I'm missing others, I think, but if not, then whatever. I'll get them in. A few of us will have them, so you'll see reviews in them within the next week, so look forward to that. Now, let's talk about a new test store. So, I was on Facebook snooping around, being nosy, and um, I was looking at the pictures, and I saw that, you know, someone had pictures of the Fresh Pick body wash and lotions and all that stuff, so I'm like, okay. And she said she got them from a test store. And the test store was in Sacramento, California. I'm like, get out. We never have anything exclusive, no test stores, no nothing. So um, she left the number. And of course, being that I'm so nosy, I had to place an order with them. Super cool, super cool staff. They're all like 
just the best. I love them. If you call them, I'll link, I don't know the number by heart, but I'll link it um, in the info box below or whatever. You call their Ask for Man. You're just pretty much anyone. They have a really good deal going on right now. You can get anything from the pre the, the pressed. You can get anything from the fresh picked collection, be it, and they do have candles, so I'm going to get to that in a second. They have candles, they have some of them, they have body wash, the lotion, um, they have some of the wallflowers. I think they have two out of, I believe, seven or eight. They have lemon mint leaf and they have pineapple mango. So anyway, if you order from the tester I'm going to give to you in Sacramento, anything from that collection, mix and match, so that's even better. If you spend up to 30 bucks, they give you an automatic 10 off, so no survey coupons necessary. You can just order whatever you want in that collection, and then it'll deduct it like via computer, so that was super cool. So I ended up getting the Fresh Picked, the rest of them. I got the lotions. I'm pretty excited about them. Um, I'm impressed with a few. The others I'm like, really? But so far so good. So I'm really excited about that. And I have used them, so it's pretty good. I've had them for about a week now, so I kind of wanted to get my fill for them and let you guys know before just saying, oh, they smell like this. They smell good. Go get it. I want to let you know how they kind of reacted with my body chemistry and all that great stuff. So I got that. Um, I didn't want too much for that collection because I tend to, if, if I don't really, if I'm not really sure, if I'm not really like 100% like I have to have it, I'll just get one of each until I test it, then I'll go back and, you know, do my damage. But, so I got pretty much the stuff that I didn't have along with a candle. I grabbed a garden bouquet. Now, those weren't on sale at the time. I placed the order last week and they were actually 20 bucks, so it's like, ah, but with the survey coupon action built into the system it's like well who cares you know just whatever so that's what I ended up doing so um I guess I'll just show you everything I got and then get into specifics so I went to my store yesterday grabbed a few little odds and ends you know little knickknacks here and there um the new pocket backs are out two months early um the new room sprays candles they're doing two for 22 um you know, it's not the worst, because trust me, I've seen I've seen it two for 30. Um, there's a city, I believe it's in Walnut Creek. It's kind of, you know, fancy area. And I was out there with a friend, and I'm like, oh, two for 30, that's pretty steep, you know. But, um, you know, I've seen two for 25, two for 22. So this isn't the worst. And FYI, two for 22 is not set in stone. It is not going to be the standard two for 20s are still going on it's just that they're just testing them out see how people react to them and you know we're on youtube we're on facebook and all sorts of you know fragrance forums if you really want two for 20 then speak out leave a comment do whatever you want but a video would be pretty nice too and just say like look i want to on facebook they're letting them have it they're like look we want two for 20 i don't know about this two for 22 crap we want the two for 20 so if you want it you have to you know fight for it it's not you know that big of a deal but for me being a fan for x amount of years it's like well look i want to for 20 that's what i'm used to that's what i know and that's what it needs to be so that's that um two for 22 is not bad the candles end up being if i grab three i'm paying 25 dollars and 90 something 96 97 cents so 26 bucks um I'm able to stack coupons still, so I ended up paying $17 and some change for the transaction, so that's that. Um, let me just show you everything and then go from there. I'm kind of like rambling, sorry. So do the candle action first, of course. All right, so we have a lidless coconut leaves, and I'll talk about that in a second. So coconut leaves, green grass, and I feel so dumb for not getting thousands of them. I'm going to go back maybe Sunday and get more. It's so good. Green grass. Spring. Garden freesia. Poolside. We have another poolside. I just love this one to the core. Beach cabana. Tiki beach. Oceanside. I know. Just give me a second. I'll talk about that in a second. And then the test store finding. So we have um, woodland herbs. 
um, another Woodland Herbs, and then four of the Sage Cucumber. So one, two, three, four of those guys. And my Garden Bouquet. Love it to the core. It's so good. And while I'm down here, let's just do this little knickknacks and knock them out. So we have some new room spray action. We have the Lavender Vanilla, new White Barn action going on, gold tops, caps, whatever you call them. So cute. I grabbed a lemon. Pretty cute. And my baby. This is so good. It's like, so good. So we have a beach cabana. Little bird. It's just like a little baby. I'm like, oh, it's just a little baby. So cute. So I ended up getting four of those. So two, three, and four. And then we have cotton, white barn collection action going on. So we have that one. Another, another, sorry, eucalyptus mint. We have that one. And last but not least, we have lilac blossom. So that's that. Um, I guess I'll do the hand soaps. I got kind of desperate. I didn't know what to get for my last go around. So I just got silly me didn't get them while they were three bucks, but I just didn't really know like how much I love the scent until it was gone. Well, not gone, gone, but you know what I mean? Until like the body care depleted out of the store. And yeah, so I ended up getting the cucumber melon deep cleansing hand. So I got four of those guys. So one, two, swing you around over here and show you the last two. So one, two. So that's that. Um, totally random. I got a mini of the True Blue Spa Shea Butter Super Rich Shower Cream. Love this stuff. It's like a mini and it's, um, I believe, $1.50. So great deal. Oh, and I'll do the... Now, I don't really do lip gloss and all that mess, but, you know, why not? So I grabbed this one from the Seal Bigelow line. It's the My Favorite Night Balm. 8-hour overnight recovery. I tried something like this from um, I think the Chapstick brand like years ago and it was pretty good so wish me luck on that. And they are I believe three buy two get one free so I ended up doing that one so it's like 15 bucks so I grabbed this one in marshmallow cream and this one is mango tango so that should be really good. And then this was 75% off. I don't know how much. It's like a few cents with my coupon. So I ended up getting this one. It's Seal Bigelow Organics um, Apple Gel. This stuff is so good. Like I cannot even tell you. It's really good. Um, one apply and you'll be like done for the day. So it's really good. One application, one apply. Look at me. One application and then you'll be done for the day. So that's pretty cool. Apple Jelly tastes really good too. So great stuff. And let's do the um, pocket back. So we have another Aloha. I keep saying Aloha Vanilla. Aloha Orchid. My favorite in the collection, so I love that one. And then the newness, we have the St. Patty's Day collection. We have Pink Lemonade, so that's that. Pretty cute. And we have the Luck O the Irish and Green Apple. Love that one. And we move on to the mess. So we have Daisy Dream Girl. And this has like sparkles and all that you know, cute flashy stuff. And we have Honey Sweetheart. I don't have the Berry Flirt. I don't even think they made it, but you know, if they do, I'll get it and you'll see it, but that's that. Now on to the Fresh Picked Action. So we have, we'll do lotions first, body lotion and tangerines, 12 um, fluid ounces, so I love that. We have strawberries, pretty cute, pretty cute. Apples, red apple, and we have pear, so I love that one, kind of, and um, the bomb in the group, first bloom, I don't know, and then we have some shower gel action, we have the fresh picked body wash in first bloom, while I'm down here I'll show you my little receipt, um, I didn't bring them all in, but you get the idea. So I got some candles, $20 candles, um, 10 off 30 plus 20% um, off coupon. It ended up being $5.47, 5 dollars 46 and $5.47. So the grand total, or I ended up saving $43.60, and it ended up being with tax included, $17.84. So that's what I did for all the candles. 
good old CA tax. Crazy, right? I know. Um, I think this transaction included spring. Okay, I don't even know. Um, well, whatever. I don't know. This was green grass spring, and I believe that was. I don't know. Who who cares, right? All right, so that's that. Now let's do the coupon action. This was the one that came. How did I get this coupon? Um, I think I got it online. I don't even know. But it's 20% off, so that's that. Here's a code if you need it. Spring 13. Valid um, through March. Now through March 31st. So I love that. 20% off. I mean, you've seen these, right? I'm going to show you every single one, but I got a ton of those. 20% um, um, January 14th through the 24th of next month, which is February. Let's swing over here and show you, if you can see it, if it's not that blurry, um, the $10 off action. Or no, this is the free item of, you can get a free item up to a $12 value. You spend 10 bucks. so I love that. I just love this deal. I mean, it's not the best, but I'll take it. It helps. And it tells you the little berry flirt, honey, sweetheart, and all that nonsense. So that's that. And yes. You guys, that is my haul. Um, I didn't get too much, although I wanted to. Um, problem is, is that, let's kind of scoot this over one more time. Problem is, is that in my store, they're actually not doing the two for 20. And there's another store in the East Bay. I hate talking about like different areas because you guys don't know what the heck I'm talking about. But in the East Bay, they're doing two for 20 certain stores so it's like do I drive all the way out there just for some candles or just you know spend the little two dollars at my store and use my coupon so I figured it was better to just you know I'm usually pay 15 20 but you know for three candles 17 that's not bad like it's still lower than one candle so really can't go wrong there so I ended up doing that and yeah that's that pretty much okay so let's talk about scents and everything candles I've done all of that so I'm going to skim through that, but I'll do the stuff you haven't seen. So in the collection of the fresh picked body lotions, tangerines is just amazing. It's awesome. <coughs> I'm like choking. <coughs> I'm sorry. It's like, <laughs> I think I'm catching a cold too. The weather has just been like up and down crazy. So that's that. But anyway, so <coughs> I'm so sorry. All right. This is going to become a mess. So just bear with me. All right. So fresh picked tangerines, favorite in the line. I think it's just tangerine, mandarin, whatever you want to call it. It's just dead on. It's zesty. It's sweet. Um, it's spot on a tangerine, like a sliced tangerine. It's, it's great. It's the most realistic in the entire line next to the apple. So recommend that one for sure. Now the scent lingering action. It doesn't really, you know, linger past an hour <laughs> but for what it's worth it's moisturizing it feels great and it's you know a good size so you know no biggie strawberries that one really surprised me the shower gel was just i mean i felt like i was taking a shower and like strawberry candy it was crazy i didn't really care for it but the lotion is great think of the lotion is being like a market peach. You know how like the market peach is really like a nice peach, like a vanilla kind of like creamy sorbet type of a scent. That's how that is, only in strawberry form. It's really sweet, it's creamy, it's just right. It's not the most realistic strawberry, but I think for what it's worth, it does a great job. So I really enjoy that one. Apples, I'll say it, I'll say it again. You know, if they want an apple candle, that needs to be the candle that needs to be the scent no blossoms no nothing mixed in that needs to be their standard apple it's just a nice crisp fresh red apple like no way around it's the best so really love that one now fresh picked pears is throwing me for a loop only because i think it smells like green apple as opposed to pears now pear has a distinct scent it has like it's going to sound weird, but when you cut open a pear, if it's not like super, super ripe, 
it's kind of mushy. It has like a mushy aspect to it. So the green, the green apple, the pear, throws me for a loop in regard of it smelling like a different fruit, which would be like a green apple. But nonetheless, it's good. I don't love it, but it's there. First bloom is just a bomb. It smells like something you can grab at. I'm not going to say the dollar store, but I will say you can get it at like Walmart. Um, I don't know what company is like. Any company that does like a floral type of a lotion, you can get it there. It's nice. It's, you know, Plumeria Peony. It's cute. Not the best, but it's okay. This shower gel, no way. Um, I got fed up with it, like, because I showered like twice. I like wash my whole body like twice, so I kind of like put that to the side and I use my dial. So, yeah. Um, it's okay. It's really strong in the shower, but after that's done, well, I wash it off with my other body wash, but... I didn't like it. It's not for me. Honey Sweetheart and Pocket Back. It's cute. Um, I was told that this line is basically meant for like the youngins, you know, little kids. Um, for anyone, but you know, little kids like this cute little, you know, cute little hearts and love and all that stuff. So it's just a sweet little cute honey pink chiffon type scent. Not really the biggest fan, but <coughs> excuse me, it's just okay. Daisy Sweet, what is it called? Dream Girl Sweetheart? It's not the best. Um, I thought it smelled like Coach and something else. It's not me. Coach is Poppy. Not the best, but that's that. Um, Luck Oh the Irish is just green apple scent. Pretty much the alcohol kind of um, throws it for a loop, but you know, whatever. Pink Lemonade smells like lemonade not really a pink lemonade but just you know a nice little lemonade nothing too crazy there's just little pocket bags nothing to cry about what else can i talk about in this video um coconut leaves love it oh let me show you something really quickly i forgot to that's why i have a lit actually yeah so a few of you have been talking about wicks and you know i've read some comments my candles are duds this year i feel for you i feel bad but I feel like some of you might not be doing what I'm doing. Not to say like, oh, my word is just, you know, the one. But see how these wicks are, not, not, not even the texture. I don't care if they're thin, flat, stubby, whatever. Let's talk about wicks in height form. So these are long wicks. Kind of want to, and there's a beach cabana. I'm going to let it cool off. I've been burning it like all day. So giving that guy a break. Anyway, so... These wicks are not the longest, but they're relatively long in my opinion. I have like this thing where like I trim them no matter what. So see how they're kind of long? Trim them to half of what they are and let it do its magic. I'm sure it'll pull out. That's what I've been doing. Don't just like light them like that because chances are they're going to like dud out and die on you. <laughs> but trim them to half to trim them to half of what they are and tell me what happens after and if it doesn't pull out and you know 15 like it does for me you know give it an hour or so if you still have no results or terrible results simply take it back to the store like that's all I can recommend you do but simply trim them to half of what they are um I should have brought in a candle that had like small wicks but use your own judgment if the candle already has a small wick then don't trim it but yeah that's just what I'm doing guys so Alright, that's what I've been doing with my little candles. I hope that helps a little bit. I've talked about it before, but I feel like, you know, the problem might be resurfacing in other people. But we're in this together. If my candle doesn't burn, yours doesn't burn, and vice versa. So, you know, our little community. Coconut leaves, I ended up getting another one because I think that it's amazing. It's stronger as you light it. Like, the first initial burn it's kind of light it's like oh i want it to be stronger but that's just my standard it gets stronger you know as they burn it down so that's great green grass is just awesome john loves bridge teddy little baby he was talking about it if you don't know who that is check him out he's a little cutie the best um he was talking about it and i totally agree that fresh bamboo of the fresh fresh market of the long day of the 
White Barn collection. That candle burns like a dream. I'm telling you right now. Oh God, it burns. It's the best burn ever. I've burned, I don't show every single, but I've burned like five of them from last year to now. That candle is flawless. It's just the best burn. I can't even talk about it. It's so good. This candle uses those wicks, and I'm telling you, that burn is just flawless from start to finish. It's the best. Along with eucalyptus mint, they have the same wicks. So, green grass is flawless this year. I'm going to go back. Like I said, I just feel silly for not getting a ton of them this time around, but I'm going to go back Sunday and grab, like, maybe, like, nine more. It's, it's the best, so I will may or may not do another haul. I don't know. So I grabbed that one. Spring, like, green grass burned from top to bottom start to finish it was amazing um it didn't smell like floral it smelled like green apple to me so that's that garden freesia surprised me it burned like um the green grass went all the way to the end no problems high flames all the way out great scent mom's perfume in a way but it's definitely freesia if you like freesia you'll like that one so it's great not similar to bath and body works it's sheer freesia it's a little bit stronger but it's good Poolside's basically suntan. You all know that by now. It's the best. It's really good. Burns to the end, so I love that one. Beach Cabana, same thing. Burns like a charm. Love it. Nice, fresh, clean scent. Um, Tiki Beach. Tiki Beach I'm getting a lot of things from, and I really like it. I like how Tiki Beach is basically a scent that um, it just gives me a lot. I get sweet cream. I get shea butter. I get toasted coconut I get sweet I get somewhat I just get so much from it and I love it um Oceanside <laughs> not a fan of it not a favorite but I figured grab it you guys are definitely going to ask me to review it I know you are so I'm gonna bite the bullet and grab it this one and Caribbean Escape are the scents that I just don't like out of the season right at the, at the moment so um I will review it for you not going to be able to let you know if it goes down to the end because I'm going to exchange it for, I don't know, green grass. <laughs> so I'm going to review it for you. And that's that. It's just a nice cologne type scent. A lot of people like it, so not going to really can it. Woodland Herbs, um, that's a test reaction. They were 75% off. So I grabbed two of those, the last two. And this was in Johnson City, Tennessee. Grabbed the last cucumber sage cucumber scents now those are duds i know they are um jason the nose no 76 his burns like a charm as always i mean his does mine's don't what's new <laughs> but um I, I can't even justify it i don't know the only thing i can say where they were really cheap i love the scent so i figured why not you know that order for six of them so they're basically the price of a four ounce um, a little bit more. 487. Grab six of them. 30 and some change, I guess. Take away your 10 off and then you spend about 20 bucks. So that's what that was. Just whatever. All right. So um, cucumber melon. Like I said, you don't know what you have until it's gone. I did grab more of the body care lotion shower gels. I didn't haul them, but I did grab more of those just for keepsake. Cucumber melon hand soap. I ended up really liking it. So I grabbed four more. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Um, what else? What else? Um, the Shea Rich. Can't even see it. The Shea Butter Triple True Blue Spa Mini Super Rich Body Cream. I've talked about that one. It's just a mini size of what I already have. It was dirt cheap. Why not? Feels great in the shower, by the way. Um, the new room sprays. I love them. I just do. I, you know, I'm not one for packaging. A lot of you guys are into that. Wink, wink. TND Delicious. Love them. But for me, I'm like, I don't care if it has a picture of Scooby-Doo on it. I, as long as it smells good and, you know, I don't care. But that's just me. Um, the packaging, however, did kind of reel me in. So grab some new stuff. I have 20 million of them, but why not? So grab the new one. Label's cute. Lemon. Love that one. Creamy lemon, lavender, vanilla. Just talked about that one until it's done. So I just love that to the core. Beach Cabana. Really happy about that one. It smells so good. And I'm going to go back and get more. So that was good. I didn't get more. 
Um, I didn't get a lot, excuse me, the last time I was in because when I went there, they only had those four, so. And yeah, I even looked in the drawers. And yeah, I look in the drawers, so what? I mean, I'm going to buy it, so who cares, right? I don't care. If you guys do, then that's you. Who cares? Um, cotton, love it. Clean, burst of freshness. Smells great. Eucalyptus mint. Um, you know, I don't really love it, but... It definitely knocks out, like if you're cooking something, you know, like if you're cooking with like onions or something really not that pleasant, you want to get that odor out Im immediately, that one will knock it out. That one in cotton, knock it out completely. No trouble. Lilac Blossom, um, first, when it was, first came out years ago, I didn't understand it. It does, it always smelled like an authentic lilac scent. But I think what threw me off is that it, it had this like random bug spray scent. I just really didn't like it. But now that time, what happened with me in that scent was I believe when, when the fresh picked candles were out, like the summer berries and fresh picked cherries and all that stuff, the, the minis, not the minis, the four ounces in the decorative um, packaging, they were 75% off, $2.37. That was when the addiction really, 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 you know, when cotton candy, lemon gelato, all that stuff was out. That's when it really got bad for me and I just started going nuts, but that's another story. When that was out, I'm like, they're $2. You'd be, you'd be a fool not to grab them. So I grabbed a ton of those. I grabbed the um, sparkling mojito, which I wish they'd bring back. They probably won't, but that's just, you know, thinking out into the atmosphere or whatever. And the fresh picked cherries, um, the, it burned like a charm, and it actually smelled great. And most of us are like this, even though we don't love a scent. If it's cheap, if it's 75% off, super cheap, that basically justifies anything. I mean, I couldn't justify buying a Caribbean Escape dirt cheap, but I would understand it. You know what I mean? It's kind of a catch-22, but that's just me. So, um, that one smells true to life. This is like 32 minutes I've been rambling. Let me just stop. Well, let me just wrap it up. Okay, so, smells like a true authentic lilac bush blossom, whatever. It smells great. Um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm not thrilled about 2 for 20, but like I said, if you want 2 for, two for 22, if you want 2 for 20 to come back and be consistent with the sale and all this other, you know, mess to end... You need to speak out. You need to um, email them. It takes a minute, guys. You simply go to the email us, contact us on the website, say, hey, I want two for 20. Please bring it back the end. And then they'll, you know, send it up to the VOC, Voice of Concern, and whatever you call. I don't even know. And they'll, you know, do that. Um, call Customer Relations. Let them know you want it. What else? Facebook, they're doing an amazing job of letting their voice and their thoughts, you know, come to light. So I love that. And YouTube, you know, they watch it. They're definitely watching our videos, I know, firsthand. Um, voice your opinion. Let them know you don't want 2 for 22. You want 2 for 20. I mean, even though the candles have been performing, for me, nicely, really can't justify paying, you know, more than what we're used to. So that's just me. Um, have I talked about those lip glosses or lip whatever? I think I did, but if I didn't, then I haven't opened any of them. I've only opened the apple jam. It was like pennies, like what, 80 cents? So that was really good. And it's going on 34 minutes. I am so going to let you guys go. I'm trying to think if I have anything to say. I'm going to stall you for a second and think. Um, 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 I don't have anything more to say. Um... Let me see. They'll probably do more scents. And, and they will. It's only January, guys. We have until next semi annual is like in June, July. So we'll definitely see more um, between now and then. Fresh pick line. That'll come to stores, I believe. I was even told a new packaging. So I don't know. Don't quote me on that. I have no idea. But those will be out end of February, early March, I want to say. Like last year. Remember how last year they released them like that? Um, so yeah, 
that's pretty much it. The sale, two for 22 ends on, I believe, 27th. The test cents come out in test stores um, officially on the 28th, which is a Monday. Go figure how they just release them after the sale ends. I hate that, but, you know, what can you do? And that's it. So thank you all for listening and watching and hopefully bearing with me through all this mess. I definitely pulled a Joshua, a touch the fire twice, and gave you a 30-minute video. I couldn't help it, you know. I mean, you guys don't mind, right? Whatever. So that's it. I will talk to you all soon. And God bless you all. Thanks again for listening, watching, and commenting, and rating positively, hopefully, wink, wink, and subscribing if you haven't. So do that, and I will talk to you all soon. Thanks. Love you much. Bye.